worst impacts of the global pandemic were experienced at the community level, communities quickly saw an increase in food insecurity. A lot of individuals who were affected um, had to make choices. And because of the loss of employment or reduction in employment, that also affected their ability to buy food and to get healthy food choices for their families. still digging out of an economic collapse that cost us 22 million jobs. It's really hard to see people coming in here with tears streaming down their faces saying, I never thought I would ever come here. Because there are going to be people who are affected by things like inflation, things like job loss, who maybe haven't felt the greatest impact during the pandemic, but will continue to experience a ripple effect afterwards. under threat from residential or commercial development. And the loss of land for agriculture means the loss of local food production. That means the loss of money made and recirculated in the local economies. We found it difficult to get into large retailers because of the retailers change in SOPs as more so than ours. there's food sitting in warehouses that um, is going to be out of date because they don't have trucks to transport it. We are not solving the problem, we're masking the symptoms. More local food could be available to meet consumer demand if distribution and logistics could accommodate the smaller growers. We know for a fact uh, that socially disadvantaged producers were discriminated against by the United States Department of Agriculture. Uh, we, we know this. Welcome to our food system. <laughs> Workforce size didn't change at all during the pandemic. Uh, nobody was laid off. Uh, in fact, we ended up having to add people. We did not see any major change in the production part of it. The distribution of it did have more layers put to it with the protocols that we needed to go through. I think it's getting better. I, I, we have now the uh, Farm to Families program, which New York State purchases food from farmers and then donates it to food banks.